six bells, six moments of silence, to mark the shockwaves that morning 23 years ago. Planes hitting in New York, at the Pentagon, in a field in Pennsylvania, the Twin Towers collapsing. 2,977 people were killed. Alvin Peter Kappelman Jr. Their names are read aloud here at Ground Zero every year. In attendance today, President Joe Biden, along with Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump, just hours after they faced off in Philadelphia. In the middle of a contentious election battle, there may be a lesson from 9-11. We hope people will set aside divisions and fractiousness and come together, recognize the unity, the compassion and the courage that characterize the aftermath of 9-11. Beth Hillman is the president of the 9-11 Memorial and Museum. Part of her mission, reaching a generation of young people who need to learn about 9-11. More than 100 million Americans who were born after 2001 or were too young to remember the tragic day. The museum teaches about the day, but it also teaches about the aftermath. Um, how has that changed? Well, I think we continue to learn more. History isn't static. We look at how we've learned to better understand terrorism, even as we haven't been able to actually end it yet. The museum gets millions of visitors every year. It really makes you realize how terrible it was. The Gordon Smith family lives in South Carolina. Why was it important to come here today? We have two kids who didn't live through this, right? And so it's, it's telling a story to them. Caroline Hurry and Peyton Eulin go to Auburn University. You may not understand what it felt like on the day, but do you yeah. think you understand at this point the effect that it had on the country? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think the older I get, the more I can see it. Never forget also means making sure a new generation understands.